great question, Scott, mm -hmm. for you. I like this one in particular. Yeah, they certainly do. And it's, and it's a question that a lot of people have asked, and it has to do with yeah. tornadoes. So here's Mitchell. Hi, my name is Mitchell from Annie Elementary. Here is my weather question. What causes tornadoes, and has there been any in Boise? Great question there, Mitch. A lot of people have been asking that. What causes tornadoes and have the been any in Boise? Let's first of all take a look at what does cause a tornado to form. And typically what's happening, it took a long time to really understand this. And the science of tornadoes was still gathering more information. We've learned a lot over the last 10 to 15 years than we have in all the years prior to that. Mid-level jet stream causes a rolling motion in the air. Basically what you have is you have winds going what we call wind shear, opposite direction or speed at different elevations. You have wind doing this, and so it causes is basically you get this cylinder of air rotating and with thunderstorms everything is being drawn up into a thunderstorm so to actually get that rotated column of the air to then turn vertical now the thunderstorm starts to rotate and much like when you see water going down a sink it causes this funnel to form here so the storm alters the plane of that rotating air in other words it stands it up like this and then the tornado will then drop out of the cloud here and you don't have to see this cloud all the way down to the ground here this is just condensed uh, basically a cloud so you've got water vapor here, but a lot of times it's just a column of air. And you can see dust at the bottom of the tornado there, and you're not necessarily even getting what appears to be a full tornado, but it is there. So here are the peak months of tornado occurrences, mainly May and Tornado Alley right here. We hear a lot about that, but June and July in the Rockies, into the West, we don't get as many tornadoes uh, here to the West, but it's April, May, and July, and August. We are in the June and July area that we tend to get our best chance for tornadoes in the Treasure Valley, Idaho, averages three tornadoes per year. There's been times I remember nine of them occurring. Most of them occur the Magic Valley eastward, but there was one, a tor not a tornado, but a funnel cloud. That's a tornado not reaching the ground. Went right over Boise in June several years ago. Some big pictures of that had come on in, and generally what can happen is you just tend to not get tornadoes in a specific spot. They can occur anywhere, but it's hard to get it in a specific spot. So to get right over Boise, it's not easy. F-zeros are those weak tornadoes. Tornadoes, F4s and 5s are extreme tornadoes. Only 1% of all tornadoes are in that extreme category, and they typically go 30 miles per hour. So lots to get in about tornadoes. We do get them in Idaho, so we have to be ready in the spring. I remember that one, I'm sorry, a funnel cloud? Is that what you call it? That's when right. it's not Okay, when it doesn't touch down, rent right over the stadium. Yeah, remember mm -hmm. that? There were some wow. shots that were really crazy. Yeah, in fact, I'll, I'll try to get that picture. If I can draw, get that picture, I'll, I'll put it either on our website, on okay. our Facebook page, on your side, or get it up at the end of the show for you. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. I like that. In Wisconsin, I had one go right over my house. Ooh. Scary stuff. Scary.